Good morning, good morning. It is day 263 of From Here to Jerusalem. I was really tired yesterday and I ate like there was no tomorrow. I had an entire grill and I had a salad. Oh my God, like Serbian salad, very much like Turkish salad, finely chopped tomatoes, cucumbers, oh, it was great, hot peppers, the green peppers, it was great. Uh, now, I need to get to Novi Sad, which is 40 kilometers, which is of course too far, 42, 43, something like that. Uh, the next real bed is in 26. <laughs> uh, it's around 10 o'clock in the morning. There is a lot of rain predicted for today. It was raining earlier, it's dry now, fingers crossed, it won't be too bad, it's about, it's above freezing, it's definitely above freezing, it's uh, somewhere around 6 or 7 degrees, it'll go up to 14, uh, so it's going to be a bit of a sweaty day, uh, hopefully I'll make it, I'm not sure I'll make it before dark. just have to try. Um, the place I slept, it looked like I was the only person there, uh, but I, I could see there were more people, uh, there were more, uh, more passports and little cup holes, and uh, yeah, very quiet, of course, it's just after Christmas, so everybody is kind of drying out. Uh, I did manage to edit some video, but I haven't managed to upload it, which means that I do have to make it to the next destination. And uh, yeah, wish me luck, I'd say. You know, what can I do? For now, I need to just walk. The semi hold on my uh, on the snap bands is holding. It's not perfect, so it's not tight, tight, but it's holding for now. Shoe update. Yesterday, 25 kilometers on the shoes, on the new ones. At the end of the day, I did have to put on the other ones uh, just because it is, uh, again, it was on uneven ground yesterday all day, which was great. Uh, I'm starting to get a, my head around the wildness of uh, Serbia. I'm actually really enjoying it. It's a bit full on, but it's a very open country like, uh, People are really, really nice. But then yesterday evening, I walked into this, uh, into this place, like it's on the list for the Jerusalem way of places to stay. Uh, Idila, I think. They've been hosting people forever. And I walked through the door and this guy like, looks me up, looks me down, looks me up and looks away, like frowns and looks away. Because there's of course lots of mud on my shoes. And <laughs> I've got the big pack and the big stick. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> so I just looked down at my shoes and I, I laughed. And I went like, I know, I know what it looks like. I know, I know. Now, <sighs> there we go. This is the road I'm on. That's the sky. I mean, what can I say? Go do 26 kilometers. See you later. Now, one more thing. So, the room was about 23 euros with breakfast, a little bit, tiny bit more say 25 25 euros with breakfast and uh, oh, I was lovely having my own shower my own loo what can I say uh, which is good like there was a there is a hostel in town as well in Bacca Palanca uh, for two people 18 euros uh, shared uh, shared bathroom uh, I just needed to have a, 
a shower <laughs> and just be in my own for a little bit. Uh, oh, hello, doggo. And uh, yeah, yesterday, no wild dogs. No, nothing. Uh, nothing. Uh, uh, today, along the road, there isn't going to be very much. So I just did some uh, groceries. Uh, lots of bananas, cheese. I've gotten very fond of the the labor worcester thingies, you know, like the the liver paste, which is yeah, uh, protein. I, the, I had a good breakfast. I had uh, ham and eggs. The ham was the ham was cut very thick, <laughs> uh, very salty, very thick. Listen, protein, right? It'll keep me going. And uh, Serbian coffee or Turkish coffee, whatever you'd like to call it, in big quantities. So, yeah. It's my... Uh, there we go. That's my life. Uh, I have enough energy. I've got bananas. I've got bread. I've got some chocolate. If I get a crash. I've got water. Okay, now I'm really gonna go. left route number 12 behind me that was hard like uh, no margin and a uh, lot of heavy traffic but I've done it I'm uh, back on my dike there we are it's uh, between 1 and 2 I've got 18 kilometers to go I won't make it before dark like I don't know what to do uh, well we're gonna find out for now, it's been raining on and off. It's starting now again. Uh, the road, if it stays like this, I'm gonna be okay. If it gets muddy, it'll be tough. So, yeah, at least it's beautiful now and quiet. If I can find a sheltered spot, I should have a spot of lunch. Uh, I should have something to eat. Uh, and uh, first place with cover, coffee. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, I survived that road. I survived that road.
So, um, I've done about 22 kilometers. I've got four more, four and something to go. Uh, my body has had enough. <coughs> we haven't had a really a good break today because uh, every time I tried to stop, it rained. I sat down maybe 20 minutes in total. Uh, There's the time I've been uh, carrying Shawnee. Uh, Jerry has done his job very well. Uh, there should be a restaurant with rooms in four kilometers. I've met some uh, not so happy dogs for the first time. Really kind of, you know, coming a little bit close. And it's been blustery and rainy. Thank God, it's not like, uh, it's not really cold, cold, so it's kind of balmy, wet weather. It must be around 12, 13 degrees. And I'm gonna finish this now. It's been a long day. Uh, with that road first. But look, heading back to the dike now to do the last bit. The restaurant with rooms, they're on booking.com. So I'm just gonna walk in and uh, ask them for a room, see if uh, that helps with the price. They don't know, I've seen the, the booking, booking.com price. Gotta try, right? If I don't like it, I can still book it online. Okay, oh, so calculating. Now just, you gotta pay attention, right? You gotta pay attention to everything. Dyke, oh, isn't it beautiful? That dyke, so beautiful. Body count for the day. One dead snake, pretty big one. <clears throat> one dead dog, one dead massive big cat. Really big. That was it so far. Okay, dyke. Looking good. I like being on here. There we go.